July 17th, 2019. Some things I've been thinking about and uh, some somewhat controversial topics. I heard about Hello. So the first topic is about uh, incest and uh, mothers that get away with incest uh, and molest their children. The truth is, it's a topic and it happens in the United States and it's uh, undisclosed because of the social taboo of accusing women or uh, finding out women that uh, abuse their children. You know, they're left out of war, ROE, they're not to be engaged, but you know, the spreading of sin and uh, feminization of males, it happens, and it's undisclosed to our government and uh, to the public. It's a problem. It's probably been talked about for a long time. There's a biblical story, Samson and Delilah. Well, Samson was a great warrior, and he was very strong. He studied war. He understood combat. But at the end, he falls to Delilah, and they claw out his eyes. It might have been a metaphor not to look at combat, not to look at martial arts in this sort of fashion or protective arts in this sort of fashion probably for him it's more appropriate as combative arts because he had more of an offense at the time for me it's more of a protective art because I use it I use protective arts as a defensive measure to stop discrimination, oppression, racism, and just people from abusing their authority. So, uh, there was a time in my life where where I was told not to look at the combative arts and uh, not to look at the productive arts the way I was. And uh, people wanted to stop or diffuse everything positive and good that I did in the martial arts and for the martial arts com community and myself. As women, women have a responsibility to males and themselves to encourage the protective arts, to let males be males and protect their family and protect the community of which they live the best they can. Not to pull them away because of self self insecurities or I don't want him doing all that because it takes too much time or whatever 
So this kind of thing has been going on for a long time. And uh, the story has been out there for a long time. Now, I have looked at pornography before, but uh, if you look at the source of pro pornography, it probably is coming from people that have been molested and people that engage in incest. So, uh, I'm attracted to adult females and uh, I'm just putting this out there because this is a topic that no one really talks about anymore because since the internet and uh, since the technological whatever it is this age the internet age there has been a widespread of pornography and probably with that there's been apathy to cases of incest and cases of mothers molesting their children uh, I don't like it it's inappropriate and uh, and it's really not uh, correct in sort of fashion. Good morning, sir. So that's uh, my thoughts. And uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen the movie Three Hundred. In a sense, the U.S. is kind of like the movie 300 in the fact that uh, there are skulls on the ground and that represents aborted children and all the babies that have been produced from this sort of thing, incest and molestation, rape, and every other act of uh, sexual intercourse. And, uh, you know, this, this sort of thing. It's like Noah's National Oceanic Atmospheric Agency or Administration, their responsibility uh, to the public and the 300 officers that serve unbeknownst with that company. So, uh, you know, I, I agree in the fact that uh, sex with a significant other that uh, is produces longevity, fulfillment, excitement, and enriches the quality of your enriches the quality of your life is a good thing. But uh, there is a definite line of too much flagrancy and a lack of control and discipline. And uh, me being a single male, I have struggled with these sort of things because the production of pornography and uh, people's uh, social taboo or uh, ability to look the other way. Uh, so just some things to remember and uh, just some uh, thoughts of mine while I'm on my late afternoon run. Uh, have a nice day. Keep looking at martial arts, combative arts, protective arts, and uh, keep being a positive person and doing the correct action the best you can. So, 
Have a nice day. God bless. Salam alaikum. Peace be upon you. Shalom kum. And uh, namaste. Have a nice day.